Hi everyone. Uh, I hope everyone is enjoying the time here. Uh, so I just continue with my fellow colleague who already presented, like quick commerce. So where are we moving? Where we started from? So we all know what we went through last two years, two and a half years. And uh, what are the key takeaways that we can get to move towards quick commerce? So what it has actually taught. So pandemic being the major disruptor in retail sector, because retail sector has been the major provider almost like 10% in terms of our GDP. When it has got affected in this last pandemic, the key lookout which every retailers who are could have looked back like, what are we doing? What can we change? So in terms of like evaluating the right business decision that we are making, being more agile to the environment that we are in, what kind of changes that is happening in this scenario and what kind of competition to keep up with the competition, what are the different changes we are bringing in. So all these are the major uh, factors which actually move the retail industry towards the quick commerce industry. Now, but one thing remain constant here, like the brand loyalty. So how we have enabled the brand loyalty across your offline and online. Now, McKinsey has already published a report saying that uh, we are like uh, digital. It's like physical, digital together, and we have to move towards it. So being instilling the brand royalty can only happen if you are like personalizing, customizing, and optimizing it. Until and unless we are doing this, we can't actually provide the end goal which the customer wants, whether the best in class of products or best in class of your services. Now to build this, here we comes in with the retention ecosystem. How we will build it? Now we can build it with two different kind of uh, user scenario. One is like what the user expects from us. User will obviously be expecting that what was my last behavior which I have shown to the brand, what I have purchased, what I have conversed. Maybe I have talked to a customer care, from there only the conversion should start. A user who is coming onto your platform shouldn't be like starting from scratch and saying the same stuff again and again. So tracking a user persona and behavior becomes a major factor. Now what is the preferred channel of the user? So user always wants to be communicated on the right preferred channel or the channel of affinity of the user. And the value of personalization. Everything which is hyper personalized, that's what we want. We want every brand to know what we are into, what we are doing, so that we get what we want on the go through any kind of channel touch points. And adapting to the user behavior and what kind of changes that is happening. Now that happens from the user level, like what we expect the brand to be. Now what kind of the brand's objectives will be? Like brand obviously wants towards like delivering like extreme super class CX experience for the user. Now customer support, that's a major USP, right, beyond the value of money that's been given that much of importance here. And the awareness of the relevant offers and programs so that you can disseminate more kind of hyper-personalized communication to the user, which actually the user wants. And appreciating them for being loyal to your brand. So that's where the major two asks, which we are combining and creating a retention stack. Now, how can we actually help them to adapt this behavior? Now, anything and everything can't happen in like one step. So we have to take baby steps to reach towards the sophisticated journey. So that's why the crawl, walk, and run phase. Flexibility, what we need to adapt to it, what we need to evolve in terms of our requirement, our business need. Agility, being like um, everything is dynamic in today's world. Now, how much agile we are, how much we are open to experimentation when it comes to retail sector is another major factor. Ready to take a leap, data being the major process and how you are actually processing that data and automating the data so that you can deliver the end goals. So that was the ready to leap of faith. Now how we can do it? Everything boils down to the user data. What we are capturing, how we are capturing, whether it's coming from a D2Z, or whether it's coming from your offline stores or any kind of uh, field staff, your ERP system, your POS system, everything needs to be unified so that we can create a 360 degree view of your user profile. Now what we can enable them, a unified view, 
what kind of user persona that the user is actually showing up with the brand and what are the other factors that we are engaging with and what kind of segments that we can actually recommend to your brand and saying that these are your identified segment which you can reach out to. That's where the CDP layer comes in play. Now this will actually help us to actually majorly convert and engage and retain the customer in, in a lifestyle of the consumer retail sector. Now building up an automation stack. Now intelligent automation is the key where we are saying that we, are, we want to actually humanize the interaction, understanding like what kind of personalized behavior we can build in into our communication or into our messaging system. Staying relevant to the content, like maybe the user is actually focused to a specific brand, a specific SKU, maybe you want to communicate about that or maybe like other cross-sell, upsell, which is like a recommendation based and sticking or upticking to the revenue and the customer, like increasing your customers and revenue through and and throughout. That's where we come in play. So our mission is to deliver a whole stack marketing automation suit, being an omni-channel orchestration platform, starting from enabling a CDP layer to your omni-channel engagement, how we can actually personalize that engagement and provide different kind of recommendation and your end goal is to provide that data back and feed that data back to your system again. So uh, this is the overall picture of our product portfolio, starting from the CDP layer, where we are unifying the user profile data coming across all different kind of touch points, whether it's your online stores or your offline store, your POS system, your ERP system, your CCSP tools. So all this will actually feed in and becomes a unified profile view. Now this data will again get micro segmented and a recommended audience comes up. Now this recommended audience you will use to actually engage. That's where our omni-channel engagement tool comes in play, where we support different kind of engagement channels across your web, your app, your offline, your online. Then comes your personalization engine piece because nothing is without personalization is like will fall flat. So personalization engine will actually help you to enable any kind of hyper-personalized communication understanding the user behavior, the persona, the action, and recommending according to the different touch points or different platform the user is coming in. Then comes your analytics, everything said and done. This, without that fourth pie, it's nothing will happen. So feeding that data back to the system through analytics, understanding your marketing strategy, revamping your marketing strategy will only happen through analytics system here. These are like different kind of brands that we are currently working with across your legacy, your enterprise, your D2C, your startup, your mid-market. Uh, everyone and anyone in different kind of your digital transformation maturity journey. So this will actually fit the bill. Uh, one of the example of First Cry who uh, have both your online and offline kind of a store presence where we, their major pain point was to understand, have a unified view of data which is coming from their website and mobile application as well as from your offline store visits. So how you can actually marry that data together of parents because the brand is for babies but my major user is my parent. To understand that persona and the behavior is a major ask where we have been able to deliver. Then the uh, next problem statement was to drive repeat purchase of the user. Now getting an acquisition is a forte, but retaining those users onto your life cycle of journey and throughout your brand is like a major ask. So retention is the major part where we can actually engage the repeat purchase users based on the persona behavior. So if a parent is buying a diaper, I know that when this diaper will get over. So I can actually nudge the user to buy a diaper again before it gets over. So those kind of replenishment and repurchase journeys can be built in in a more advanced and automated fashion. So that's what the key USP here. That's all from my side here.